Snakes might look like they're only capable of eating snake-sized snacks, but you'd be surprised at just how stretchy their bodies are to accommodate much larger things. And if they see something that looks like food, no matter the size or what it is, they might just chow down. From light bulbs for lunch to an electric blanket, here are 20 craziest things found inside snakes. Number 20. A pair of light bulbs. It's certainly not the brightest idea that this snake had, pardon the pun, but in 1986, a four-foot pine snake swallowed two 15-watt light bulbs. I'm not sure why the wattage matters, but there you go. The snake was spotted in the backyard of Lynn and Carmen Clark in Gainesville, Florida, who noticed that it had two lumps under its skin. Most people would say, oh, that's unusual, and carry on with their day. But the Clarks knew exactly what those lumps were. They use 15-watt bulbs in their chicken coop, and when they burn out, they just throw them in the yard which is extremely strange if you think about it. Clearly, the pine snake thought the light bulbs were chicken eggs or another delicious snack and decided to devour them. But rather than leave the snake to suffer, they decided to take it to the Santa Fe Community College, where it was then transported to the vet school at the University of Florida. Veterinary resident Randy Caliguri made an incision in the snake's stomach and removed the bulbs in a 45-minute long operation. The students nicknamed the snake GE after General Electric Company as a light bulb joke, and it went on to make a full recovery. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. A family in Bolivia heard some strange noises outside their home and decided to check it out. They discovered a giant snake, and coincidentally, their pet goat was nowhere to be found. Thinking the snake might have eaten their goat whole, they quickly unalived it. What they found inside this snake shocked the whole world. Not only did they find their goat, but it was still alive. They must have gotten to it in the nick of time. How do you think survival in a snake's stomach is possible? How long do you think that goat would have had before it died? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. A Spiky Porcupine if you had the choice between eating a chicken and a porcupine, which would you choose? It's a no-brainer. The chicken, of course. But clearly, one python in South Africa couldn't wait for something less sharp to come along, because it devoured a porcupine for dinner, and it was its last supper. In mid-2015, a cyclist on a mountain bike trail around the Lake Eland Game Reserve in KwaZulu-Natal came across a massively engorged snake. At this point, it was still alive, but it definitely looked like it had eaten something giant. At the time, Park ranger suspected that maybe it was a baby impala or a warthog. That's how large its stomach was. However, not even a week later, the python was spotted again. This time, it was dead near the bike trail. They decided to cut it open to find out what was in its stomach and were shocked to discover a huge 30-pound dead porcupine. It's a well-known fact that snakes do often eat porcupines, but they generally regret their decision. Some studies have found that their quills can pierce through their body, which as you might imagine, is probably pretty uncomfortable. In this case, the cause of death isn't clear-cut. The snake was found under a rocky ledge, and it looks like it fell. The impact might have caused one of the quills to puncture the snake's digestive tract, resulting in its death. Number 18. A Teddy Bear a python that entered a family's home on the Gold Coast of Australia in 2016 probably thought it struck it lucky when it saw a delicious big rat to eat. But that rat was actually the family dog's teddy bear toy, and there was no way the snake would be able to digest it without dying in the process. Because the family saw the python eat the bear, they were able to save its life. Snake catcher Tony Harrison arrived to remove the snake from the property and took it to a veterinary clinic for x-rays and surgery. The x-rays confirmed the presence of a whole teddy bear. 
Tony said that they had seen snakes eat fake chicken eggs, tea towels, and plastic bags, because if something smells good, they'll eat it. After the surgery, the snake received 15 stitches and was recovering on antibiotics under the vet's care. It would be released once it was well enough. If the family hadn't seen their dog's toy be eaten, the bear would have compacted inside the snake's intestines, eventually causing an infection and then death. The bear was washed and returned to its four-legged friend. All's well that ends well. Number 17. An Electric Blanket in 2006, Carl Beznoska fed his 60-pound, 12-foot-long Burmese python, Houdini, a rabbit, as he did quite often. He placed it on the electric blanket kept in his cage for warmth and left Houdini alone to eat his meal in peace. But when he returned to check on his snake, he noticed that not only was the rabbit gone, so was the queen-sized electric blanket. Now, blankets don't just go missing, so there was only one logical explanation. Houdini had done the disappearing act with it. Carl said it's likely that the blanket became tangled up in the rabbit it, so the snake decided to devour the meal all in one, including the electrical cord and control box. There was no way Houdini would have lived without surgery, so Carl took him to the St. Francis Pet Clinic in Ketchum, where x-rays confirmed the presence of several wires throughout the eight feet of his digestive tract. He underwent a life-saving two-hour operation to remove it through an 18-inch incision. Veterinarian Karsten Fostiet was experienced in all manner of surgical procedures, but he and fellow vet Barry Rathbun had never operated on a snake before, so they contacted specialists who advised them on what they should do. The surgery was a success, and Houdini ended up exceeding the average python lifespan by about 10 years. Number 16. Golf Balls you gotta admit, golf balls do look a lot like eggs. At least they would to hungry snakes. That's why snakes have had to undergo emergency surgery to remove golf balls that might otherwise have killed them on more than one occasion. In March 2015, a black rat snake was taken to the Ohio Wildlife Center after it was found with a big lump in its stomach. After x-rays, the lump was discovered to be a golf ball, and it's believed that it mistook it for an egg since black rat snakes like to visit nests and take what they can get. He underwent surgery to remove the golf ball and now is used for education at the center. This is because as snakes are cold-blooded, they need to remain warm while they are healing from wounds. The snake remained in the center's care over the winter period, and when he underwent his prey-eating test to see if he could be reintegrated back into the wild in spring, he had no idea what to do with live prey. Now, it might sound silly for a snake to ingest a golf ball, but that black rat snake wasn't the only one. In September of that same year, an eastern rat snake in Keswick, Virginia was taken to the wildlife center of Virginia with a lump in its stomach, too. It, too, had to have a golf ball removed. Number 15. Barbecue Tongs Barbecue season is a fun time for many households, as it's an opportunity to get outside, enjoy the sunshine, and cook a meal on the grill for friends and family. Although, for one snake-owning household in 2015, it became an expensive and stressful season. While being fed a mouse, a family's Woma python swallowed a pair of barbecue tongs that had likely been used to deliver the mouse and wasn't removed from its enclosure. When the snake owner realized the python had a strange-shaped object inside its stomach, they took it to the local vet to undergo complicated 25-minute surgery. Snakes are more than capable of regurgitating many items they swallow, but they would have never been able to do that safely with a pair of tongs. The tongs were metal, and the sharp edges might have caused life-threatening damage. Fortunately, the snake came through the surgery just fine, and barbecue season was able to continue as usual. Number 14. A Beach Towel you know how babies like to put things in their mouths that don't belong and they eventually grow out of that phase? Well, snakes also like to put things in their mouth, but they don't grow out of that phase. That much is evident by the procedure an 18-year-old, 11-pound female carpet python called Monty Python had to go through at the Small Animal Specialist Hospital in Sydney. Vets had to conduct surgery and remove a full-sized beach towel from its throat that it had swallowed whole. That's right, the snake decided that a towel was a delicious treat and ate the whole thing. Monty's owner had seen it devour the beach towel, but it was too late, and their only option was to take it to an animal hospital to have it removed. Vets gave Monty some anesthetic, confirmed the presence of the towel with a radiograph, and used an endoscope camera to help them hook onto the towel inside the snake's stomach. Once they got a good grip on it, they pulled the towel through the snake's gastrointestinal tract, where it was removed in the same shape as the snake, and covered in a gross goo. According to vets, Monty recovered fine 
line once the towel was removed, but you can bet the snake's owners were now keeping beach towels well away from this little lady. Number 13. Fish Green anacondas are the second longest snakes in the world and also the largest by weight. When you carry around that kind of heft, you have to sustain it with delicious and nutritious meals. One green anaconda at a wildlife center definitely got that. Catfish were set up in a container of water so that the anaconda could use its natural prey instincts to secure its prey. The fish was then hand-fed to the snake, and it greedily took it as if it hadn't eaten in years. As you likely know, most animals eat by biting and chewing just as we do, but not snakes. This massive fella has a unique jaw that allows it to swallow huge food whole, and it does this with the catfish. The green anaconda's lower jaw has an elastic ligament that allows the two parts of the jaw to spread apart and move independently. They also have quadrate bones at the back of their skull that pivot for easier ingestion of large prey, like pigs. You might think that the fish is way too big for that snake to swallow, but look how it manages to do it with such ease and precision. Number 12. A lion. Okay, so I hate to break it to you, but a snake didn't actually eat a lion, but this is pretty interesting anyway, so I don't think you'll mind. You know how after you eat a full meal, you can barely move, so you just lounge around on the couch and you're basically no good to anyone until your food digests? Well, something similar happened to a python, and it chose to eat at the worst possible time. The python was minding its own business in the wild, devouring what looked like a hare or a rabbit, and it looked absolutely stuffed once it had finished. The python was about twice its original size, and it likely wanted to have some quiet time to digest its meal. But it wasn't given that opportunity because what the python didn't realize was that a lion had it set in its sights. While the python was busy recovering from its huge meal, two lions approached and had no problems at all overpowering the snake. Unfortunately for the python, it had eaten its last supper. Not only did the lions get a delicious feast of snake, but they were also able to feast on the rabbit or hare that it had just eaten. Number 11. A goat. Photographer Ronnie Chudery was walking near the Sonakali Reserve Forest near Garkuta in West Bengal, India, when he stumbled across a huge 9 or 10 foot python wrapped around a sizable domestic goat. Ronnie said it was one of the most spectacular sights he had ever witnessed, and a crowd quickly gathered to watch the snake eat. The python didn't even seem to mind, because it sat there near the village, swallowing the goat for four hours before eventually making its way back into the grassy bushes nearby. While it was an exciting sight for many locals, it did make a few of them quite concerned. Snake experts say that if a snake was confident enough to get this close to the villagers to eat a domestic goat, it could easily eat a human. They said that deforestation in the Jalpiguri Forest Reserve is leading to an imbalance in the local ecological systems. It wouldn't be a shock to see a python eating a deer inside a forest range, but to see one capture a domestic goat in the village was alarming. Number 10. A Young Antelope Dutch filmmaker Mado Barfus was trekking through Botswana to make a documentary on African wild dogs when he came across something even more exciting than dogs roaming around minding their own business. He saw a python in the high grass by the Kwando River latch onto the legs of a young antelope. Knowing something exciting was about to happen, he stopped filming and ventured nearer to the snake. Immediately, he noticed the snake surrounding the steambok to constrict it, and before long, the helpless animal was dead. It was quite the mission for that python, though, and after all that effort, it was too tired to eat, so it retreated for the evening and, after around a day, came back to reap the rewards of its hard work. It took about four hours for the python to swallow the entire antelope, and it probably didn't need to eat for a week after that stellar effort. Steenbok are relatively small antelopes that live in southern and eastern Africa. They can stand at about 24 inches at the shoulder and weigh about 26 pounds or 12 kilograms. That might be small in terms of other antelope sizes, but it is undoubtedly a large snack for a python. Number 9. A Kangaroo most people know not to mess with kangaroos because they can be pretty dangerous. Not only do they pack a punch, but they have huge feet quite capable of disemboweling you. But just because we know to stay away from them doesn't mean other animals have that same fear. A huge 5-meter or 17-foot amethystine python was found eating a kangaroo in far north Queensland, Australia. It decided to devour it mere feet from a family's campsite in a Cooktown family caravan park. When the snake is first spotted, it has most of the kangaroo 
hanging out of its mouth. But with time and effort, it pushes it further and further into its body, which is becoming noticeably bigger with each movement. The person who filmed the incredible footage was Helen Smart, and she could be heard saying that she's whispering because, as you can see, there's a snake eating a kangaroo. She said it was huge, and she felt sorry for the kangaroo. About 10 seconds into the video, the snake moves its neck at a nearly 90 degree angle so that it can continue swallowing it. According to those who witnessed the roux being eaten, they had never seen a snake that large before. The amethystine python, also known as an Australian scrub python, is indigenous to northern Australia and is one of the longest and largest snakes in the world. It's also the longest and largest in Australia, with some measuring about 24 feet. Number 8. A Monitor Lizard the animal kingdom is full of surprises. In 2020, in Thailand, a woman found a bloated python in her Bangkok home. Not knowing what to do, she called rescue workers to come and get it. The snake tried to escape, but the volunteers didn't let it. Realizing it had no escape route, it started widening and contorting its jaws, and what it did next shocked everyone there. It started regurgitating the prey it had just eaten, which turned out to be a large monitor lizard. It slid out of the python's jaws. Normally, pythons smother their prey before eating them, but this clearly didn't happen because the lizard was alive. At first, it was unconscious, but it slowly started coming back to life and began moving around the room. Both the snake and lizard seem to be perfectly okay. Experts think the monitor lizard might have played dead to conserve its energy, and the snake might have assumed that it was dead. As the snake was disturbed by the rescue workers, it felt it had no choice but to regurgitate its prey so that it could actively defend itself without a stomach full of food. The lizard was subsequently given the opportunity to escape to freedom. Number 7. A Crocodile why you'd want to live in Queensland, Australia is beyond me. The state is home to some of the world's most dangerous snakes, and as an added bonus, they also have saltwater crocodiles. While we might fear these creatures, there's probably more reason for those two animals to fear each other. Author Tiffany Corliss stumbled across an incident at Lake Mundara near Mount Isa in 2014 that shocked her and pretty much the nation once they saw the photos she took. She spotted a 10-foot python wrapped around a crocodile, and the two were struggling in the water. It was clear that the croc was fighting for its life, but it was a losing battle because eventually the python won, and it dragged the dead crocodile onto land before eating it. Tiffany said she watched as the snake rolled the crocodile over to get a better grip on it and would hold its legs tight. Once the croc died, it started eating it face first, which took about 15 minutes. Another witness, Elise Rosenthal, said the croc and snake fought for about five hours and that it was definitely something they don't see every day. Number 6. A Ceramic Egg Hens don't know the difference between real and fake eggs, which is why farmers often plant fake ones in nesting boxes to encourage them to nest in a particular spot. As it turns out, snakes also don't know the difference between real and fake eggs. In 2018, an Augusta County farmer noticed that the ceramic eggs usually positioned in a nesting box in his chicken coop were missing. Before long, he found the culprit still inside his coop, a large eastern rat snake. Suspecting that the snake had eaten them, he decided to take it to the Wildlife Center of Virginia in Waynesboro so that it could get the help it needed. Radiographs confirmed the two ceramic eggs were in its digestive tract, and surgery was the only way to remove them. The surgery was complicated since they had to cut open its intestinal tract, and it took about two hours. Fortunately, the snake survived the surgery. However, that wasn't the end of the story. Veterinary staff became concerned when the snake started shedding its skin the next day since it might impact its stitches. In a stroke of luck, there were no issues, and the snake took about a month to recover before it was able to be released back into the wild. Number 5. A Snake Many animals are known to eat their own kind, but for some reason, we just assume that's not the case with snakes. But it is, and there's video proof to back it up. Someone in Brisbane, Australia filmed a deadly eastern brown snake trying to eat a non-venomous carpet python. They were evenly matched for size, but the carpet python certainly didn't have the same level of ferocity or toxicity as the eastern brown snake. If you were to be bitten by an eastern brown snake, you could be dead in just 15 minutes. They are one of the most deadly snakes in the world, so this carpet python probably didn't stand a chance. Number 4. A Plastic Water Bottle 
We are the absolute worst species. You need proof? Well, here's just one of many thousands of examples. A cobra appears to be in extreme discomfort as it regurgitates a green plastic soda bottle that it obviously can't digest. It would have swallowed it thinking it was food, but then soon realized it wasn't. Fortunately, the shape of the bottle made it reasonably easy to come out the same way it went in, but there was always a chance it could have died. You have to remember, animals can't always distinguish between food and plastic. That's why many fish being hauled onto fishing boats are now being found to contain high levels of plastic. A jellyfish and a plastic bag look the same to many sea creatures, just as a plastic bottle might look like a small animal to a snake. Let this snaky story be a wake-up call. Americans buy about 22 billion water bottles each year, and only one in every six we consume is recycled. They never biodegrade. Instead, after about a thousand years, they photodegrade and leak pollutants into the soil and water. Could it be time to install a water filter in your home and drink your tap water instead? Save the snakes. Number 3. A Pet Cat it's every pet owner's worst nightmare. You discover one of your beloved pets is missing. In this case, a woman's cat was technically still at home, but it was not in a good place. Now, I must warn you, if you're a cat lover and are easily distressed, you might want to do something else for a bit. Sawarak Charen was at her home in Patam Thani, Bangkok, when she noticed that one of her three large cats was missing. She went around looking for it, and that's when she discovered a rather full-looking 16.4-foot-long python underneath her sink covered. It appeared that the snake had swallowed her ginger cat Bobo before coiling itself under her sink to digest its meal. Sawarak called wildlife control officers and the police, who arrived shortly after. They moved the snake, and it regurgitated the cat. Unfortunately, it was not alive, and Sawarak was given her cat back so that she could give it a proper burial. The snake was returned to the wild with an empty stomach. I can think of nothing worse than having my beloved pet eaten by a massive snake. Number 2. Itself Snakes eat plenty of crazy things. We now know that they will happily eat golf balls, fake eggs, and even light bulbs. But even more absurd than that is realizing that they will also eat themselves. One of the most common reasons for doing this is that they mistake their own tails for the tails of their prey. Once they start swallowing it, they don't realize that they're actually eating themselves. However, there can also be more sinister reasons for this behavior. They might be experiencing issues with thermoregulation and hypermetabolism. Snakes can struggle to keep themselves cool or warm, and if they become too hot and can't cool themselves down, they can become unsettled, confused, and disoriented. If they are suffering from hypermetabolism, their inability to cool themselves down can cause their metabolic rate to rise. This may cause them to hunt and eat prey they probably usually wouldn't. Some snakes also try to eat themselves because they're stressed, and stress can be brought about through many things, like excessive handling, a small tank, too much noise, irregular feeding, or even a dirty tank. If you aren't feeding your pet snake enough, this can be another sound reason, or it's shedding its skin and their temporarily impaired vision makes them think their tails are food. Number 1. A Cow Have you ever said that you were so hungry you could eat a horse? Well, the massive anaconda in the Brazilian jungle probably said something similar. Although it was more like, I'm so hungry I could eat a cow. And so it did. The end. Oh, you're still here? All right, well, in 2012, video footage was taken of a massive nope rope devouring a cow. In a classic eyes were too big for your belly moment, it then proceeded to regurgitate the entire heifer. After eating the cow, the anaconda writhed around in the water for a bit, and I'd imagine that was because it was quite uncomfortable. I empathize because I feel like that after Thanksgiving. Slowly but surely, the anaconda brings the cow back up and it's entirely undigested. Although, as the saying goes, you can't trust everything you see on the internet. Some people wonder whether it wasn't a cow at all, but rather a capybara. They're definitely much smaller than cows and typically weigh up to about 145 pounds, which is still an impressive effort on the anaconda's part. It's not known why the anaconda chose to bring the cow or capybara back up, but when they're disturbed, they've been known to do that so that they can gain their mobility and defend themselves if they have to. Snakes are terrifying enough without realizing they're capable of basically eating your family. If you've been around snakes before, what is the weirdest or largest thing you've seen them eat? We'd love to read your snaky stories in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.